Hello, my name is Warren Peach. I'm the Director of Operations for the Texas Flying Legends Museum, and I'd like to welcome you here today. Appreciate your visit. The P-51 Mustang that we're standing in front of, named Dakota Kid, Long Island Kid, is a D-model Mustang, signifying the bubble canopy on top versus a razorback of some of the earlier Mustangs of the war. The canopy was an enhancement to the airplane that although it detracted from its performance slightly, increased the visibility so much that the pilots all wanted that airplane so they could see the enemy coming and know their situation in battle. It's a, uh, the P-51 is famous for its long range capability. It was one of the first airplanes or was the first airplane that allowed us to escort our bombers all the way from England to Berlin and later in the Pacific Theater, escort our bombers over Japan. Operating three internal tanks, one behind the pilot, one in each wing and, and two external drop tanks. It had a range of a thousand miles to escort the bombers out, have a five or 10 minute combat radius and then come back home to England. Top speed of the Mustang was around 437 miles an hour with a service ceiling of over 40,000 feet. Powered by a Rolls-Royce designed V12 engine that was built under license by Packard Corporation in the U.S. The engine was 1,650 cubic inch and put out an equal amount of horsepower of about 1,650 horse. A beautiful airplane to look at. It's an iconic fighter of World War II and some say the best fighter of World War II. Every fighter has a different purpose. This airplane was originally designed for the British RAF as a ground attack airplane with an Allison engine in it and the British modified it with one of their Rolls-Royce Merlin engines creating the high altitude capable machine that you see here now. This airplane is painted in the colors of Noble Peterson from North Dakota. It's called the Dakota Kid II. It was named that by his crew chief who was from Long Island, Robert Coleman. When uh, Bob Coleman painted Dakota Kid on the side of Noble's first Mustang, Noble insisted that he paint Long Island Kid underneath it to signify his crew chief. Both of those gentlemen have passed away now, but both of them had a chance to ride in this airplane as a restoration. And in fact, Noble used to ride with us to air shows on a regular basis and spend hours on the ramp telling people about his time in the war. He was a ranch hand in North Dakota before the war. And when the war was over, he went back to being a rancher in North Dakota and spent the rest of his days doing that. He was a very interesting man, very soft-spoken. He had three confirmed kills and five probables and told stories of his missions over there with over 106 missions in Europe and over 600 hours of Mustangs. He was one of the most experienced to come back from the war and uh, he was very interesting to talk to because he wasn't uh, he enjoyed it. He, he, said, he said it was very exhilarating for a young man to be given that much horsepower and that kind of a mission. And he said he was not only proud to do it, but he enjoyed his mission when he was in Europe with the airplanes. The P-51 has six 50 caliber Browning machine guns in it, three in each wing. And the ammo belts in there are about nine yards long, which led to a saying that some people have heard probably is, I gave him the whole nine yards. If you would line up behind the enemy and pull the trigger and hold it until you were out of ammo, you gave him all nine yards of ammunition. You'll notice that uh, a lot of the pictures of the airplane, you'll see a person riding in the back. These airplanes have been modified to have a jump seat in the back to enable us to, to give rides in them for uh, special occasions. That would have been where the original fuel tank was and the radio equipment during the war. In its current configuration without drop tanks, we can go about three hours or two and a half hours with, with a reserve at about 240 mile an hour cruising speed, so we're able to go 500 miles fairly comfortably in between stops.